Hello again my friends, in this video I'm going to be opening 5 new monarchy packages. Now as you can see, I also have Vanguard, Crucible and Cryptar packages, but I'm actually saving those for when the House of Wolves drops in the hope of bagging myself some of the new gear coming with that expansion. As for the new monarchy packages, well, I'm hoping to get a new monarchy shader or even a new monarchy faction ship. So wish me luck and let's begin. So here we go, first new monarchy package, let's collect that. Acknowledged. Crusader 1, Ascendant Energy, and Crucible Commendation. Okay, fair play. Let's open the next one. Transfer. New Monarchy Badge, Strange Coin, and a Crucible Commendation. That's an emblem, I believe. So we've got an emblem and we've got a weapon. Let's have a look at what's in the next New Monarchy package. Done. Red Hand. Yes, that's actually decent. Strange Coin and Ascendant Shard. Now, I've had, Red Hand is uh, a New Monarchy faction hand cannon so we'll have a look at the perks at that in just a moment but i'm really glad i've got that i've already got the dead orbit um faction hand cannon i've already got the future war cult faction uh hand cannon so i'm really glad that i've got the new monarchy one now so that's pretty damn cool uh let's open the next one acknowledged just ascendant shard and crucible commendation a bit shit and finally fingers crossed for a shader or a ship here we go we got the shroud of the order which I believe is for the Warlock and Ascendant Energy and Crucible Commendation. So, you know, didn't get a shader, didn't get a ship, but I did get um, the new Monarchy Hand Cannon, and I'm really happy with that. So let's have a look at the perks here. Uh, as you can see, it looks pretty distinctive, pretty cool. It's a really nice red design. Zen Moment, causing damage with this weapon increases its stability. Not a great perk, I have to admit. It's also got crowd control. Kills with this weapon grant bonus damage for a short time. Again, not the best perks. Uh, it's got perfect balance, uh, flared magwell, and field scout, which increases the ammo capacity to 13, I believe. So that's pretty good. Um, so there you go. I'm pretty happy with the, the red hand. Um, it could have got some better perks, I guess. But nonetheless, I've now completed my hand cannon faction collection. So then, let's now have a look at the Crusader 1 scout rifle. This is a new monarchy faction scout rifle. It has the outlaw perk. Precision kills with this weapon dramatically increase reload speed. And it has the firefly perk. Precision kills with this weapon cause the target to explode. Now, these are two excellent perks to really sort after perks in a weapon. It's what the Fatebringer has. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with that, actually. This could turn out to be an excellent scout rifle. It also has single point sling, switch weapons faster, move quicker while aiming, increases range and accuracy, and precision glass for better zoom. So, I'm pretty damn happy with this scout rifle. Now, let's compare it, actually. Let's equip it. And let's compare it to the Saturn Rapier. Um, because these are two very similar scout rifles. As you can see, they both have exactly the same perks. Um, the, the precision kills uh, with this weapon cause the target to explode and increase reload speed. They both have those exact same perks. But the Crusader seems to have... Um, well, it's got one more bullet in the magazine. And it's got slightly better range too. So overall... I'd say that the Crusader 1 scout rifle is the better scout rifle because it has that one additional bullet. So like I said, pretty happy with that. Uh, so I got the Crusader scout rifle and I got the red hand uh, hand cannon as well. So pretty, pretty happy. Also got the um, new monarchy badge of the monarchy 2 emblem. That's what that looks like. Let's just equip that. Um, that's nothing too amazing. It's just a, a common emblem. But also I mentioned the dead orbit hand cannon so let's have a look at that just in case you were curious now i got this in a um nightfall strike so you can only get a new mon you can only get um faction hand cannons via packages or in nightfall strike so they're fairly rare so this one has the return to sender perk kills with this weapon grant bonus ammo directly to the magazine and luck in the chamber one random bullet in the magazine causes considerable bonus damage this is a really excellent perk to have for hand cannons. Uh, I'm going to be doing a full review of this in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Um, and what I'll probably do is actually compare all faction hand cannons and um, put a video of that up as well. So there you go. There, that's what I got from my new monarchy faction package openings. Hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up the video if you did. Subscribe for daily Destiny content. And thanks for watching, you beautiful bastards. And as always, until next time, Guardians.